Morning guys, welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, was that ever delicious. I gotta have another one of those, that's for sure, wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Here it is guys, it is Friday and boy, I hope you've been having an amazing week thus far, boy. So much has been happening, it's truly crazy. And to pick and choose what you're actually gonna, gonna come out and talk about, there's just so much going on. Of course, in this space, big, big deal yesterday with Grayscale announcing XRP Trust is back on the books because remember, they had that back on there way back there in 2020 prior to the, you know, the whole SEC lawsuit and everything like that. And of course, you know, they took it off because, well, they thought, hey, we don't know if XRP is going to be classified as a security or not. Well, now, guys, they have put it on and timing is everything, isn't it? Do you think that they're putting that on there because they're afraid of an SEC appeal coming in on this case or that they would even win an appeal if they actually go out there and register one? Guys, I don't think so because this is only for accredited investors, individuals, and institutions and of course an accredited investor means that you're at least a million dollars liquid or have had multiple years of high six-figure income and stuff like that and of course as institutions you're talking tens of millions and hundreds of millions of dollars look at what's happened with the bitcoin and ethereum trusts over there just have taken off so that's big news now something that i was reading this morning that really piqued my interest was this mm -hmm. so Whole Foods has gone out there and they have reduced the size of their paper bags. Now that isn't such a big deal, but it's the reason why they've done it that is such a huge tell. Now, the reason why they did it is the whole psychology of empty versus full. And that's because, hey, groceries are costing a whole lot more, aren't they? And folks aren't buying as much as they did before, are they? And so as a result, in the old bags, those bags will be half full, relatively just about half full. And of course, the psychology is people be walking out with less bags and certainly the bags they had wouldn't even be filled with the groceries like they would before. So what they went and did is they reduced the bag size. What a head fake, guys. What a mind game. Because really what they're doing there is they're trading in on psychology so that when you go out there and shop and although you're not buying as much as you did before, hey, your bag is still full. What do you know? And that kind of stuff. Guys, boy, oh boy, have they ever prepared, have they ever conditioned us to be set up for all this kind of nonsense where a lot of people respond psychologically to those kind of things? You know, is it the glass half empty or is it half full? But it tells you where the economy is, doesn't it? It tells you that they have to play all these kind of mind games on us so that we don't realize just how bad things have gotten versus what they used to be. And that's where you don't want to listen to all this narrative of what's going on. It is truly mind bending. And of course, you got all this other stuff going on. The theater that's being played out there right now is truly amazing. And it's off the hook. In fact, I was reading an ex post there. And I don't know. I don't, you know, we don't know whether this is true or not. But I mean, you had what Kamala Harris, they're saying there's an ABC whistleblower, supposedly, who's coming out there to file some kind of affidavit that she was given the questions in advance and da, 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 and on and on. And old promise that they'd be fact checking Trump, but they wouldn't fact check her and all this. And so you got this Clinton aide, this prior Clinton aide, pretty big name. I actually forget who his name was in the article I was reading. But anyway, he's calling for there to be an internal investigation over there. And of course, you know, you got everyone else jumping on the bandwagon. Hey, what's going on here? But come on, guys. Do we really don't? I mean, for me, the whole thing is just utter theater, whether it's true or it's not true. And if it is true, what a shame. What a shame that we've fallen to these levels. I'll tell you what, but guys, the point I'm making with this article about the reduced bags and of course what we're seeing here is they're trying to get our distracted, get us looking over here while all this stuff goes on over there. That is exactly what it is. They want us to have, have this whole head fake, this whole mind game to believe that things aren't as bad as what they really are because, oh, my grocery bag is full still, can't you? Don't you know? Even though the bag is reduced in size by something like 25, 35%. Wow, that is something else. Mm-hmm. Absolutely 
crazy. And guys, I think, who owns Whole Food? Isn't that Amazon? Isn't Amazon the owners of Whole Foods? And big box store as it is. And boy, did they ever know the psychology of buyers and they have put millions upon millions into it to know exactly what works and exactly doesn't. And the data that these guys have put together to be able to really predict our behavior under various conditions and if we're fed certain lines, huge. And why does it work, guys? Because human beings are so, so predictable. That's why it works. And this is where you got to know yourself. And that's why, look, a lot of people that saw appreciation in that last bull run, you know what? They never realized those gains. Yep, most of them rode it all the way up. And guys, they rode the whole thing all the way back down. I literally know people that did that. And, the, and, and it's truly mind-bending when you watch someone, just an average person, get to become a millionaire, at least on paper, and they don't even realize any gains. Now, a lot of people think that's utter nonsense. Oh, how could that happen? I'm telling you guys, the psychology in this marketplace can play a number on you like you have never even fathomed. And that is why it's so vitally important that you literally get out there and be strategic about your plan. Not just having, oh, a plan when I, no, be strategic, cement it. And there are tools and techniques that you can employ that will put you at the, at the head of the line. I absolutely believe that, guys. That's why we get out there and encourage our coaching. And by the way, we are literally doing it for as absolutely the lowest amount in this space that you will find and the benefit. And guys, if you have taken the coaching, throw that in there. Put your comments in there of what it was for you and how, it, how you benefit from it and all that. Get your feedback out there. Let these guys know. Because I'll tell you what, we're not going to be doing it once this whole thing takes off. Do you think I'm going to be having the time to go out and... No, I'm not, guys. Because why? Obviously, we're going to be taking care of our own garden, right? But I want you to make it. I want you to make it so bad. I want as many of us as possible to get across that finish line, like I love to say right there. Mm-hmm. And not get buffaloed by all this psychology. Isn't that amazing? Changing the bag size. And what Judy calls it is shrinkflation. She calls it shrinkflation because you're paying a higher amount and getting less for it, right? And they do that, of course, with products. You know, you see the bottle size change from, oh, 450 milliliters to what? 375 if you're, you know, that kind of thing. And oh, the can size shrinks. But it happens so subtly that you don't even know it, although the price of it goes up. So not only is the price per can or item going up, but you're getting less for what you were spending before. So that means it's even more expensive. And it's all the packaging shrinks inflation and now even the grocery bags themselves that tells you volumes guys of what's going on and all this narrative of how things are turning around oh my goodness you had the european central bank not too long ago literally just this last week lower their interest rates by 25 basis points now i'm hearing that folks are expecting on wednesday this coming week the fed's going to drop it by 50 basis points but we'll have to see but most are believing for certain 25 basis points well guys do you really believe that inflation has absolutely diminished no it has has not. In fact, what really matters when it comes to the grassroots of inflation, they don't even include food or energy power in those inflation numbers. That right there tells you all you need to know right there because they do not want you waking up to that reality. They want to just print a narrative and it wouldn't surprise me if by November, before you know the whole selection deal goes down, that they come out and say, oh, we hit our target of 2% inflation. Wouldn't you know it? Wow, we actually got the economy under control. Come on, guys. Total, absolute hooey and theater. But you and I, we're not buffaloed. We're not buffaloed. We're right on top of this kind of thing. And guys, think about it. How many people have got their head literally buried in the sand? I know it feels like everybody's in on it what, because we're aware of this digital asset space and all that's going on, but do you know how few really know what we're being transitioned into and have even pivoted to put themselves in a position where they could literally be financially blessed because of it? Very, very few. So if you're aware of this digital asset space and you're involved, count your blessings. I'll tell you what right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Count your blessings, guys, because the percentage of people that are truly aware of what's coming, very, very, very small. 
and think about it guys we know that devaluation of the dollar is on head long i mean these interest rates when they drop them down and the printing presses are going like crazy they're devaluing the currency and they're doing it with intention and they're doing it in collusion all these central banks are all doing it together guys they do not work independently in this global market the way that it works nope and what's the goal Guys, the ultimate goal for the central banks is to be the borrower and lender of, you know, of, of last and only choice, right? And at that point, you know, what you're talking about is a consolidation of control and power, right? Because, you know, there, it's just a transfer of wealth like we have never seen from the average citizen into the coffers of the central banks and on and on and on. And and this is where, you know, this is the government's greatest temptation inflating the currency. And of course, that's what we're doing. But hey, guys, when you think, oh, well, my debt should be easier to pay off because the currency is, you know, debased and all this and that. Yeah, but guys, think of the economic consequences of that. A lot of businesses shutting down. A lot of people getting laid off all the job numbers and the job numbers they've literally come out and proven that they've all been fudged and everything else and guys even if it is cheaper for you to pay it do you think your wages are going to keep up with it no they're not and you're not going to have the ability a lot of people think that oh well it's just going to be so easy no guys it is just getting harder and harder and that's why i really do believe that this digital asset space represents probably one of the biggest flights to safety that we'll ever see why because they are transitioning us into it that's why I believe that. But like I say, guys, you want to get out there and really, really, really spend that time getting to know all about what you need to learn about what's coming in the future so you can pivot and get yourself ready for it. That is for sure. Well, guys, it is definitely a Friday. And boy, I see the sun is peeking up over the trees over here and absolutely gorgeous. Look at how beautiful it is out here. Just absolutely fabulous. I hope and pray wherever you are in the wide world, it is also a fabulous terrific day and guys the weekend's coming friends and family we're gonna have some amazing stuff and guys i want to get out there on saturday my saturdays have been just consumed and so in the last few i haven't been able to get to a question and answer boy i sure hope tomorrow i'm able to do that but i'll tell you what i always try to make time to do sugar on sunday and get out those nuggets of encouragement and so guys until later on today when we have a fabulous video for you i'm praying you have a have a great one and take care